The next question, the member for Chatham Kent Leamington. Thank you, Speaker. Speaker, through you to the Premier. Uh, earlier this week, you eliminated the vaccination passes that would finally allow people to experience some freedoms that they enjoyed pre COVID. They could now show their support of small businesses and restaurant owners once again. But now I'm hearing reports that the provincial government is introducing a digital ID. It will contain personal and family contact information, access to financial and numerous government services, and access to medical records, including immunizations. Now, Premier, we both understand the need to speed up efficiencies in the government. With technology becoming more accessible, I do have some concerns. Medical records are personal and confidential. Respectfully, Premier, they are no one's business. In past, people had to show personal COVID vaccination status to go anywhere and to do anything such as to board planes, trains, or even automobiles, or even go to sporting events. But my question to you, Premier, sure. is with this digital ID that your government is working on, will it be used against someone if they are asked to show their COVID vaccination status? Again, I repeat, Premier, one's vaccination status is no one's business, it's personal. To reply, the Associate Minister for Digital Government. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, and uh, thank you to the member opposite for, uh, for the question. Mr. Speaker, uh, we are saying yes to improving customer service for the people of Ontario by modernizing the way people can access services online. And I'm so proud of, of this Premier who truly believes in customer service and is doing everything possible to make sure that we as a government provide the best customer service possible to the people of this province. <clears throat> Mr. Speaker, we are saying yes to the people of Ontario by creating easier access to online services at their fingertips. Uh, Ontario's uh, digital uh, ID, ID program will make it easier for people and businesses to securely prove their ID online, reduce the risk of ID theft, protect people's data, and expand access uh, across uh, the government services. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.